Cash. The man in Johnny black. Johnny Cash. Wait, what, what, what's his uh, John, Johnny Cash? I, I know one Johnny Cash song. What's his most famous one? Ring of Fire? Yeah. I down fell into a burning ring, ring of fire. I went down, 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 down and the flames went higher. It burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. I wonder what black guy he stole that from. Johnny Cash did not steal black music. Johnny Cash is the man in black. <laughs> he always wore all black. He wore it for the for the. He I wear it for the thousands who have died. He wore it for the underprivileged, for the uh, for the underdog, for That's the uppercutters. Fire. Shout out so Johnny Cash. Shout out John Cash. Rest in peace. I feel like I'm Johnny Cash reincarnated because I got that. You know, I got that voice in my in, in my mind. It's just yeah. Different. You got a nice deep deep voice that's why we are a good podcast duo because we both got good voices yes sir that's what people be saying about us i don't nobody has said that about after me. a long break the boys have returned we're back welcome back to the abc podcast the a stands for adventure the b stands for billy the c stands for clyde yeah yeet yeet billy and after clyde. a long hiatus and i just want to say off the top my doctor a lot of close family members a lot of people begged me not to podcast today because I'm hurt. I'm injured badly. And they said, think about your health. Don't do it. You don't need this. And I said, I'm sorry, but there's a war out there and I'm a soldier and my team needs me. So I'm out here. I have a pinched nerve in my shoulder blade. If you've never had a pinched nerve, shut up. It is very painful. You don't know nothing about that, Clyde. They said, you what's the worst injury you've ever had? They, they said you shouldn't sit down here. They said you shouldn't sit. Is that, is that they were like, go home and rest. You sit and Drink lots of liquids. How do you pinch? Think your happy nerve? thoughts. What are you doing? You're almost thirty now. You need to realize. That I got into a fight. Down. I got into a mean fight with no. some bad hombres. No, you didn't. You're probably fluffing yep. your pillow. Someone stole my fishing pole. I was over on the Hudson River. <laughs> That's not what happened. For real, dude. No, what actually happened is probably I was so pulling stupid. my nephew in a in a wheelbarrow. Oh no, that's and the I worst. Yanked it. When you're doing something fun, you and I dr- I drove over a rock and the and the wheelbarrow flipped over, and my niece and my nephew were in it and they flipped over, oh. fell onto the ground. Everybody's crying. You <laughs> Everybody's home? crying and like running to pick up the kids, and I'm walking away because my back is in absolute shambles. Oh, no. Nobody felt sorry for me. And you and you knew right away. No, I, honestly, it had hurt. I had already injured it, but it was, like, manageable. I could get around. It wasn't a big deal. But uh, after that, it was like I had to go lie down, and I couldn't get comfortable. Like, just no matter what I do, it hurts. Is it's that, crazy. Is, is that the worst Like, injury? my range of motion in this arm is, like, I might not be able to take the mic stand out of the mic tonight. Oh, word. Is I mean, bad? I can do it. I'm, I am being a little bit of a baby, but if you guys had this injury, you would be so much worse than me. Nah, I've had Guaranteed. a pinched nerve before. I no, feel like I wouldn't not, even not have, where this nerve I feel is. Like I wouldn't even have brought it up. This like. is probably the number one most painful nerve to be. Where's it at? It's in my shoulder blade. In your and shoulder blade. And it's going blade? up my neck, down, down the tip of my arm. Yeah, I'm like a really bad. tough guy. Yeah. I don't For me so. to even be mentioning this is wild. I'd, a lot of people that know me well are going to be like, "This is the first time I've ever heard <laughs> of him being hurt." Well, newsflash: I've been <laughs> hurt many times. I just don't talk about it. What was your worst injury? Uh, I tore my meniscus. I no longer have a meniscus in my right knee. Mm-hmm. Um, that doesn't really hurt though. Nah, that wasn't meniscus. that painful. Um, I broke my wrist. I've, I've been relatively just like minor stuff. What about you? And I play, I played football and stuff. No, yeah. I didn't. So I broke, I broke a few of my fingers playing football. I tore everything in my knee. I have a pretty weird story about that. You kind of have a limp. Yeah, no, I have a huge limp. Yeah, yeah, yeah it mess, it's messing up my hip. But, but since I'm black, I people feel like are going to confuse cool. that for wisdom someday. The, the, like when you're an old black man with a limp, people yeah. are going to be like, "There goes that wise old man." Definitely. But, yeah. And I'm definitely gonna like. I'm definitely gonna probably use a cane. You know what I'm saying? Like get get like the church hats for sure. Grab a cane. Play some dominoes. Yeah. Or checkers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm excited to be an old black guy. Yo, I'm excited to be old. Period. Not even an old black guy. You're excited Not to be that old. That's in the cards for me. I'm excited to be old. Don't you think? Mm, yeah, I think I think it'd be fun. Just people like, don't listen when I complain. Now, I have a lot of complaints. When, but when you're young, people are like, "Dude, get over it. Your life's awesome." Actually, I take that back. I don't want to be old. Do you ever watch like a really old person try to walk up the subway steps? I'm like, yo, that every yeah. step looks. <laughs> yeah, but everybody agonizing. like clears out of the way, 
And yeah. when you get on the subway, maybe somebody gives you a seat. Yeah, you get a seat. Yeah. I had to fake sleep on the subway again today because there was an old person who wanted a seat. <laughs> so I just sit in my seat. <laughs> and your Pretend. back hurt too bad? I could, yeah. Once I get like seated, it's, it's so hard for me to get up. It's so annoying when an old lady comes on the train and like I'm like debating if I should let them go. I also, this is a little insensitive because there's old ladies and old ladies deserve a seat. Big ladies? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, when yeah. Big I, ladies I, come on and they got too. like bags full of donuts or whatever. Yeah. And you can tell they're looking at you like, are you going to give me your seat? And I'm like, yo, I didn't make you become uh -huh. that. <laughs> yeah, you should stand. Also, you can't fit where I'm sitting half the time <laughs> is what I'm thinking. We, like, I wouldn't do that to these people next to me. I wouldn't make them. I wouldn't make. That's a bad situation for everybody. So so would you sit in the middle? Of the of big ladies? No. <laughs> So there's so there's three seats. Okay, there's two on the end. Are you gonna sit in the middle if you're really tired, had a rough day? Yeah, I'll take whatever seat on the subway. I don't care. Okay, yeah, I'm I a seat. I'm a sitting guy. I can't do it. I gotta stand. And plus, sometimes I hold the bar like this, just so you can show off your big guns. Yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, hold the bar like this, and then it, you ever wink at a girl on the subway? Yeah, yeah. I've I've tried <laughs> to talk to a few girls in the subway. I did one real cool a few months ago. There's this girl. She's like open subway she was like standing right next to me and like she was just like leaning over to me so i just pulled on my phone with my instagram up and she looked at me and was like nah and i was like looked around nobody saw it put my phone back in the pocket that's a win that's beautiful yeah you know what i'm saying when like, they say what's the worst that could happen like yeah you know what i mean <laughs> no one saw it, it it was amazing so i mean i am looking for someone right now you're also looking for someone right now i have this idea for a girl on a subway like if i i just started say i strike up a conversation this is my only move that I have planned out is I'd be like, like the first or second stop, I'd be like, this is my stop, but I'll stay on. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's so That's dumb. all I got so far, but I think that's a good start. But, but have you ever like talked to a girl in public, not in like a social, like at a bar, not like a drinking situation, just like a girl at Starbucks or a girl at Trader Joe's? Have you ever approached them? Yeah. You have? Yeah, for sure. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. Oh, yeah. I do. I'm black, so catcalling is like in our nature. Like I have to stop myself from being like, "Damn, you look good today, baby." Really, you say you. stuff like that? No, 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 no. I'll just try to say something funny. Usually, they don't like it. It never works. For what me can anyways. you possibly say that's funny to a stranger? Like a tra say you're at Trader Joe's and you see a girl in the potato aisle and she's shopping, and she, you're, she, you're like, "Wow, she's mad cute." What would you say to her? I think I think you're underestimating how funny I am. Okay, I just give you a scenario. Say it what again. There's a girl in the aisle at Trader Joe's. She's looking at the sweet potatoes. She's just she's going through the sweet potatoes. Which is this look good, good, good sweet potato? Is this ripe? You see her. It's go time. What do you say? I would say you know my family grew these potatoes, right? Not bad. Yeah. Not That's bad. That's what I would say. That's great. She and then she would like laugh. She'd be like, oh really? I'd be like, no, not at all. I don't even know what uh -huh. these are. Uh huh. I, I would say. I think I would say. Uh, Wow, how about this? A yam looking at the sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that might that. work for you, though. <laughs> that might work for you somehow. Yeah, I'm just goofy enough. Yeah, you are. But me and Billy are looking for relationships, and you're going You're going to a wedding this weekend? Yeah, shout out to a loyal listener. I won't say his name, but he's getting married this weekend. He listens every every week. Oh, to the whole podcast? Yeah. Oh, okay. That sends cool. me critiques, sends me what's funny. He's getting married. In California, the part I'm most excited about is the day after the wedding. Guess what I'm doing? Golfing? Whale watching. Whale watching. I'm That's cool. I'm going to check out whales, bro. That's cool. How do you whale watch? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else signed me up for it. I hope they show up. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I already paid the money. How much is it? How much it's is it? It's like uh, $125. Oh, my God. $125. I, I'm nervous the whales won't show up. A whale needs to swallow me like Jonah. For 125, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and apparently, it's it, we just missed sperm whale season, which I'm upset about. You like sperm? When it's in a whale. <laughs> okay. Did you, you don't think, even know why they're called that. Did you think I know, but I'm not going to tell you. Did what? you think that you saying that you like sperm when it's in a whale? Made. I just, I mean, I, you you brought me to that place. So I didn't really want to be in that place. Yeah. And I was just trying to get out of it as soon as possible. <laughs> I think we should rename whales stuff. I don't. That's not. That's not like an ugly name. Sperm for, whale for a majestic. No, the no whales in general. I think a lot Whale. of animals. I want to talk to you about this. A lot of animals need to be renamed. Renamed, okay. Whales, off the top of my head, uh, blubbers. 
blubbers? We call whales blubbers. That's not. That's, that's a blue blubber. That's a sperm blubber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I hate that. Or um, giraffes. I don't like the name giraffe. Giraffe? Yeah. Okay. How about... Uh, um. Uh, what was what's the name of slinkies? How about slinkies? Slinkies, okay. Giraffes are now slinkies. All right. Anything else? Yeah. Porcupines? They, oh, you know what porcupines can be called? Spikies. Spikies is a good one, but I was thinking prickle balls. Prickle balls? Okay. That's a good one. Okay. I hate to take away porcupine because it's such a good name, but prickle balls is pretty good. Do it's, you have any others? Don't you think it would be fun to rename if you got to be Adam and name all the animals? Yeah, I would name snakes scary ass motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes scary ass motherfucker. <laughs> really That's shit. great. Scary ass. I got bit by a scary ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 why are you on? Why are you on the wood? You know? It would make it very easy to like to stay away from them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you're a kid learning about animals, and you're like, "What's that one called? That's called a scary ass motherfucker." <laughs> you're like, oh, "Okay, say no more." Got like, it. You go camping. There's like, "Yeah, there's a bunch of scary ass motherfuckers <laughs> here." <laughs> <That's it>. Yeah. <laughs> but then, if we call snakes scary ass motherfuckers, what are we gonna call Mexicans? Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. I could have said black people, but I didn't. You wanted to. Now though. that's progress. Progress is. <laughs> Is replacing black people in your racist jokes with Mexicans. Okay. Ja yeah. feel ja rule? I did until you said that. Do you have any other animals you'd like to rename? I really like this. It's fun. I really think, okay, so. Gorilla. Elephant? You like el the word elephant? Elephant? I kind of like elephant. Big ass motherfuckers. <laughs> so every animal is just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Scary ass motherfucker, big ass motherfucker, cheetahs are fast ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah, chipmunks, low ass motherfuckers, uh, <laughs> rats, dirty ass motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. We gonna rename. We gonna restart history. Billy and Clyde saves the world. Hell yeah! You ever see a uh, you ever see a dog attack a snake? No. Yeah, it's it's amazing. They go right after him. They just grab him in the middle. Then they just shake the shit out of him and like and like kill him. It's crazy. Really? Dogs yeah. in like Pit a rock paper scissors shoot dog beat snake? Yeah, dog. Destroy say snake. what they go right after him no fear pit bulls it's like it's like in their nature to go right after a snake what if the snake bites it then it dies dogs are dumb dogs go after porcupines my, my dog one time i had a, my dog he got fucked up by a porcupine and then we were like how much to get this he had like four she had like four in her face they were like it's gonna be like five hundred dollars we were like well he just living with porcupines he had four porcupine needles in his in face his face yeah I feel like I see people like that walking around Brooklyn all the time. <laughs> what do you think the most embarrassing death by animal would be? The most the embarrassing most... animal to get killed by. Oh, man. Realistically, like you can't say like a mouse because a mouse can't kill you. I would say squirrel would be crazy because like if three squirrels really want you dead, I don't know how you defend yourself. I don't know. what. How, you they, how are they going to kill me? They're going to run all over you on your back and start biting that would the feel shit good. out of you. I could use a massage back there. That's not. That's just weird. That's not what it's going to I'm happen. not. Again, you're putting me in a situation where there's squirrels crawling all over me, and I'm trying to make the best of it. But that's you embarrassing, can't, Don't right? call me weird because I'm going to enjoy it instead of die. No, you would. If three squirrels wanted to kill you, what are you going to do? Like, you can't really grab them. They're going to, like, latch on you. So what? Like, they're going to be all How over you. How is that going to kill me? You didn't think this went through at all. I didn't, but I do think about the squirrel three squirrels. Me. Clyde thinks three squirrels could kill me. Are you for, crazy? First off, if a squirrel started crawling on me at all, I would just die instantly. Just you from can't just the make fear. yourself die. You'd have to kill yourself. Um, no, I would. I would be like, yo, I'm dead. I'm, I'm <laughs> that would dying. be cool if you could just like unplug yourself, just <laughs> yeah. violently kill yourself. That would be cool just for a little bit. But yeah, I think squirrels. What about you? What do you think would be an embarrassing animal to get killed by? Hmm. Um, I'm gonna try to go with one that's like with that's realistic. And I honestly, this is gonna sound stupid, but I think it's a shark. Shark? It's embarrassing to to, to get killed by a shark because you shouldn't be out there. Every single time someone dies by a shark attack, I have no sympathy for them. That's that's crazy. That's People... like that's like breaking into somebody's house and then you get shot. It's like sorry. You're out there in the middle of the ocean. That's where that's where sharks reign. They are the apex predator. We're not the apex predator in the middle of the ocean. That's that's where sharks are. The apex predator. Yeah, but people like the water though. Go. I'm. I am 
blue lives matter when it comes to the <laughs> ocean. Loud and clear. Go sharks. Ah. See, I can't even scratch my head, dude. It's crazy. Um, oh, also, uh, before we get t- too far into it, I, uh, I've made some statements on this podcast that turned out to be incorrect, factually. Okay. I believe that. So I just want to apologize to the viewer, and I pledge, I pledge to be 100% real. No more fake news on this podcast from this day forward. I will never get anything wrong ever again. What would you get wrong? Uh, I said that Vienna was a city in Italy. Which it's not, but I was really excited. I was going to use the pun. I was going to say it was it's a Siddeley. I, I, for, I not only I forgot to say the pun, so it's, I was just wrong for no reason. It's actually a city in Austria. Austria, okay. Um, another time I was wrong. People have been sending me every time I'm wrong. But uh, oh, Adam Sandler. I said that Happy Gilmore was going to be Adam Sandler's first sequel. That is not true. What was his first sequel? He did um, Grown Ups was a sequel. I don't know if that was his yeah. first one, but Grown Ups is fire. He's done a sequel before. So I was wrong. Okay. But like I say, it ain't going to happen again. Real talk. Is that only two? I mean, that that was a lot. Nah, right there. there was a couple more. What? You saying it ain't going to happen again? No, I'm going to gonna I'm gonna frame my statements in a way where I'm going to be like, hey, I'm not 100% sure. Don't okay. quote me on this. I'm going to be I'm going to be saying don't quote me on this a lot on this pod. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the name of the pod. Don't quote me on this. Yeah, don't quote me on this. That is good. That's not bad, right? Yeah, maybe I'll start a, sp- a podcast with Spencer Wright and then name it that. Why? Is he fake news a lot? I don't know. I just... we have got a lot of opinions. I brought him up three times in this podcast. Yeah, but we edited the other two out, so <laughs> n- nobody else knows that. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was breaking news today that uh, the former president got found guilty. I don't know if you know anything about it. <laughs> I don't even know what it's for. I have no idea. Isn't <laughs> no. it crazy that like nobody... like? The regular person has no clue what's going on. The it, pr- former president is on trial, and we're like, "What's going on?" It doesn't surprise me though. I feel like he's been on trial since like yeah, it's, literally I mean, the it's a witch hunt is what it is. You think it's a witch hunt? I mean, I don't know. I I'm, just, I mean, you don't, you think he's the first politician to ever do something illegal? No, but he's the only one that they'll put on trial for it. <laughs> and he's, he's in, I just believe. Like you know, it was it was hush money, right? For like, I think sex that's stuff? one. This, that's what this. But I think it's like he used campaign money to to pay it off or something like that. He, I believe it. He's a fucking. But I mean, like sir. Bill Clinton. You don't think Bill Clinton did some shady stuff with all his horse? He probably didn't. He got in trouble for it. Not like this. Get the only the only person that the only president that had no scandals was the black one, which is crazy. He had a few, not like public, but there's some conspiracy theories about like I think he had his uh. Butler, uh, don't quote me on this. Allegedly, he had his butler killed or something like that. Oh, that's some <laughs> that's real <a> shit. <laughs> that's, that's a deep, not, yeah. that's a deep cut conspiracy. Don't that's quote some, me. On that's that. some black people stuff. But anyways, I, I bring that up because I want I I want to talk about the presidential election. Okay, I I'm done with voting. Do you vote? Yeah, I, I think do. voting is is a stupid way to decide the president. Okay, I think we should come up with a new way to decide the president. All right, like. I'm, like maybe like a race okay like a foot race sure that can be part of it but along the way there's like little challenges or maybe we have like survivor we have a season of survivor and whoever wins gets to be president okay something like that yeah or we could do whoever has the most instagram followers gets to be president that's kind of a way of voting i don't like i don't like just everybody cast a ballot for you know that we're gonna pick two people and then you guys can pick which one you like you love america i think there should be there should be a competition to decide like an ncaa tournament of 64 people and then they just have one-on-one matchups like a trivia contest or something american history something like that okay we're like we need an asian person we gotta figure out who's the most asian yeah the president's gonna be asian every single time (laughs) (laughs) but well i mean that's not a bad idea (laughs) We haven't had an Asian president yet. Well, no, we haven't. There's, no. I mean, there's a that's a long list of presidents we haven't. Pretty much just all been white men. So yeah, just white men. We had one black guy. We had an orange fellow. That was pretty good. We had a corpse. We have a corpse now. Yep, it's kind of banging. You know, that's my joke. You basically just did my joke. Oh, like you have a joke about that on stage? Yeah, we had a black president. We had an orange president. Okay. It's all it's tied in. Maybe that's where I got it from, or maybe that's a hack joke. Brilliantly with other things, but huh? <laughs> maybe it's a hack joke. 
It kind of is. I'm kind of done telling it. You're back on the Celsius, huh? Yeah. I like that because you drank that in episode one and you, you kind of brought the heat a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, now they just kind of... Why are you dressed like you work at Dick's Sporting Goods today? <laughs> <laughs> because, I don't know, this is what I have to wear for work. I can't... You know, everyone can't dress like you. Homeless. Yeah, and... And you actually don't look bad today. Thanks, bro. Which is crazy because you look bad. <laughs> so that is crazy. You got to stop putting your. And I was gonna tell you this. We went out Friday night. You have to stop with the sun, sunglasses on your collar. Like it, it fucks Where your collar. Where am I supposed up. to put them? Literally, don't wear them if that's what you have to do to your collar every day. All right, fine. Sorry. That is insane. You just don't give a fuck. But it's good. It works for you. I've. I've I just don't give a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Slim shades. I've been out with you a few times, and you know, yeah, I'm killing it. <laughs> you, 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 you do okay. Yeah, you, I do. You've right. done well. You've had. I do all right. You've had. You've had the highest success rate out of everyone that we go out with recently. I'm coming yeah. back though. I just you got are? a haircut. Yeah, yeah you I'm, did. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? You can't see that the face. Sucks. I can't even tell. No. Yeah, I mean, my you're life. a handsome fella. Thank you. You are too. Okay. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> no hey, Diddy. Yo. Speaking of Diddy, we kind of talked about this last time, but I think we cut that whole episode. But, you know, Diddy, uh, you seen the elevator video? Yeah. yeah Diddy. Yeah. That was sad. Woo! I Violent. Didn't, I didn't think it was real. And now, this is my question. What is it about elevators that makes guys just want to go to town on their girl? <laughs> makes, makes guys want to beat the crap out of their girl. Like Jay Z, his incident happened in an elevator. Although I think that was him getting beat up, right? Yeah, yeah. Ray Rice, elevator. Yeah. Ray Rice, elevator. Kareem Hunt, I think that was in a hallway, but I believe they were on the way to the elevator. Yeah. Diddy, elevator. El- every elevator's got a camera, guys. What are you doing? Yeah. His, 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 if you want to hit your girl, take the stairs. Throw, you can throw <laughs> her down. Just wait a little longer. I wonder what it is about the elevator. Maybe the girls are pressing the wrong button. That's pretty infuriating when somebody does that on an elevator. You know? Yeah, I don't know. That is really interesting. I guess you're just waiting to punch her until you know you get alone. You're like, as soon as we get alone, yeah, I'm slapping the shit out of this bitch. Or you just like you're you're bored while you're waiting for the elevator. Is there is there anything that would prompt you to hit a girl? Um, anything. If she, if she said that the wage gap wasn't real, I might hit her. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, anything. Like, so w- what if like a girl, a random girl comes up to you, just grabs your balls? And you can't get her off. Are you gonna hit her then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Billy hits girls. <laughs> if she touches my boys, I'll hit her. <laughs> <laughs> Billy hits girls. So you're basically what you're getting at is you think there are occasions where it's okay to hit women. Oh my god, what a question for me to answer for me to tiptoe around. <laughs> um. I mean, yeah, there, there, there has to be like if a girl like, like say someone has like a burning hot like rod or something like that. Like I have to defend myself. So yes, we hit women on this podcast. That's crazy. Yeah, that that's why we crazy. don't have girls on because we'd be too tempted to hit them. That was crazy. <sighs> it's fun to edit though. <laughs> yeah, huh? you know, I'll just edit that right out. You can't stop me. We um, um I've been, I was talking to this girl. She um, she got her eggs frozen. Oh yeah popular thing these days yeah yeah especially in new york because these girls but it's like so expensive to freeze your eggs yeah it is and then That's you gotta like store says. them and, and you gotta do a whole bunch of stuff like for us you know we just we could just nut whenever for the rest of our lives yeah. i think that's pretty cool yeah that is pretty cool that's definitely pretty cool yeah i think that's definitely pretty cool that's cool <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a girl why don't you just you know try to meet a man while you're still barren or no, what does barren mean? Barren means you can't have kids while you're still fertile. It doesn't really work like that, Bubba. Yeah, it does. You know the girls these days; their their priorities are all out of whack. So are yeah. guys. No, that that's what it is. That's really what it is. They're like I don't have I don't have time for you know a kid. Dude, I was talking. To, I was crowd working with this girl at a show, and I was like, "Do you have kids?" And she was like, "No, I'm way too young." And I was like, "How old are you?" She goes, 30. Oh, what? I was like, are you out of your mind? Things are changing now. Right? I'm glad, though, because, you know, girls can get rich and, like, do things now. Pursue their dreams. Yeah, I'm going to have a daughter one day, so. Right. So you got to start looking ahead, you know. But 
this wedding situation. What's your what's your least favorite thing about weddings, and what's your most favorite thing about weddings? My least favorite thing about weddings is being in them. It's the worst. Yeah. Oh, so it's just expensive. the worst. So expensive, especially if you don't if you're not like the best man. Like that's an honor, and you get to give a speech, and like there's some. Even though it's nerve wracking, there's something to get out of that. But if you're just in the wedding, like all that means is you got to spend mad money on a mad suit. Bread. You got to spend mad bread on, on a suit. And then you get a bad view of the wedding. You're standing up there. And if it's hot and you're wearing like a three piece suit, you're just sweating, sweating your face off, Man. craning your neck to try and see, you know? Yeah. And then you got to do it. Oh, and then you got to spend hours taking pictures, not even standing there. While other people get their picture taken, you're in like one out of every forty photos. Yeah, okay. brutal. So and then my favorite part of weddings is uh, let me do my worst part first. Okay, we'll go, go ahead. worst worst. Okay, so the worst part of weddings for me is I go to a lot of white weddings where I'm like, nice day for a white wedding. Is that, that a song? song? No, I don't know that. Okay, that sounds sorry. fire though. Didn't mean to interrupt you. No, it's okay. But uh, so. I think my least favorite thing is when after the wedding, the reception, um, when the DJ is playing and they're playing like all like, you know, they're playing like, you know, dancing songs. Yeah. And people are like wanting me to like, oh, you can't just, you can't just sit <laughs> yeah, because I'm black. You know, they're like, they're like, they're like Dougie for us. Teach us all how to Dougie. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how to Dougie. And then I teach them all how to Dougie. Yeah. But like the That's wrong way. Nah, I do it the right way. I begin. That'd be kind of fun to like teach people, teach white people like the wrong thing, <laughs> like teach them how to be cool. But you know, th- there was like a TV show that did that one time. I don't remember, but yeah, it sucks at a wedding that you can't just like. Sometimes I just like to sit at like the table and just like hang out. But people always think you're sad, and they're always like, "Come on, come have fun." I'm like, "No, I'm I'm having fun. Like watching you guys is fun. I'm sitting here. I got my beer. Like it's okay to just leave me alone in that situation." <laughs> <laughs> you just made me think about something like teaching white people the wrong thing, like uh, especially white girls. Like if I'm going, okay, give me a handshake real quick, like a black one. I can barely do it. All right. So sometimes, sometimes girls, I don't know where they learned it from. They're usually from like California, and like so I'll be like, they'll be like in a line, like dapping everybody up about to leave, and then they see that I'm doing like the black handshake, so they'll do this. <laughs> Or no, exploded. I'm like, bro, who the fuck told you that? Who is not a black dude? You learned that from a white dude with dreadlocks. Yeah. That is not real. That's a fun handshake, though. They should incorporate that into the black dap. The, the black dap the, needs a little bit of an update. It's been the same for about 30 years. That's There's variations to the black dap. There's really? The, yeah, there's the there's the this. I thought that was the only way to do it. No, there's the snap. There's Wait, what's the, the snap? Yeah, oh, the snap. yeah. And then Jared does that. And then there's also Jared who? Jared Harvin. Okay. And then there's also the this, and then you come in, you do shoulders, and then you come out and you release. Oh. So that seems different. like a lot. Is there yeah. like like different people you do different things with? Like a close friend from home that you like bring in tight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, 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 we're, if, we're, if we're cool or whatever, I haven't seen you in a while, we're going we gonna, we gonna to get in here. Shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, we gonna get in here. But if you know, if I barely know you, you know, it's whatever. And if I don't like you, I'm gonna just give you this, John. All right, enough. But how you can? Oh, really I didn't tell, know that means you don't like somebody. Yeah, yeah. Or, or if like, like if I just wash my hands or something. But if I just give you like a little fist bump, yeah, that means that means I, I don't really know you yet. Right, right. So, yeah, black people. We got you ever had a situation where like somebody uh, fast forwards the friendship and they give like a a close friend handshake too quickly, and you're like, bro, we're not there yet. Nah, 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 I'm not really like that. Do black people, do two black men ever do just like the standard? The standard handshake? Like, give yeah. me a standard handshake. Like that. That's good. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah, no, yeah. If, if, there's if, a, there's got to be a place in, in black society for that. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if you're wearing suits or, or you're at work, but it's definitely a thought. But, like, you know, there's some black guys that you're like, okay, that's not going to happen. But, um,. I wonder you know. how that started. <laughs> Yo, it, how black people started handshaking different. Started the new handshake? Yeah. <laughs> How did that come about? I don't know. It's probably just just had to be different. Yeah, well, you know, couldn't just, do what the white man was doing. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, I like Hi. that. How are you, yeah. sir? Good evening to you. Uh huh. The fuck? 
That shit corny as shit. Sometimes so, w- it's okay to be corny. Not everybody can be cool. W- w- what about That's the problem with black people. You guys all think you're cool. Hey, you're not that, all cool. Yo, that is true. And a lot of us are cool. I'm cool as shit. You I'm are like, cool. But, uh, but there's some black people that aren't cool. Yeah, I, yeah. You know? That's true. So have, have you ever went in for... Have you ever went in for a handshake with a black guy and you tried to do the good one and it ended up and being it goes the white bad. one? Yeah, yeah, it just goes yeah, bad. Yeah, it happens. Like it's, a, it's a point of anxiety for all white guys out there <laughs> all the time. <laughs> you're real nervous when you're giving a black guy a dap for the first time. <laughs> My God, I hope this goes well. <laughs> I, I got advice for all white people that want to, that are going to handshake a black guy and you're nervous about it. Just do whatever you're going to do, and then we'll adjust to that. That's how you do it. Okay. We'll adjust. I usually just play it safe and give knuckles. I like I hate I hate when I'm like in like a business meeting or something like that and then like a white guy like I'll go up and shake his hand and he's like he, okay shake my hand like a like, like no sh- g- like do me like a regular handshake. They're like this. Or, or, or oh no they come in like this. Oh, I just <laughs> grab the thumb <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because they don't know what to do. I'm like I'm like yo just just give me a handshake. Yeah. Play it safe, I would advise white people. Play it safe in that situation yeah. at all times. Although I will say, when you dap up a black guy and you get a good pop, like like something like that. It's incredible. It, oh, dude. It's incredible. You can live off that. I, for like I was sort of tip. You're supposed, matter what you're happens to you supposed to, to look at each other's life. elbow when, I know, when you I've dap. That, that was a tremendous dap. Tremendous dap. I feel dap. like race, like race, all the race <laughs> shit just ended for a quick yeah, little second. Yeah, and the apartheid. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You don't know what apartheid is? Does this have anything to do with Native Americans? No, it's black and white people in South Africa. Oh yeah, that's bad. I, I it'd be tripping me out. I'm be on stage, be like, "Where's everybody from?" Be like, "Africa." I'm like, "Where?" Be like, "South Africa." Be like, "No, the fuck you not." Nigga. Like white people? Yeah, yeah. There's white people in but South you're Africa. You're from Australia, bitch. Big divide. Yeah. Um, hit so, me with a topic, Clyde. So I, I got, I got some good ones. But your, so what's your favorite thing about weddings? My favorite thing about weddings being in the presence of love. So good, right? Yeah, I actually so like that good. for real. People are gonna think I'm being sarcastic, but it's, I like it. Yo, it's so good. Like, these, especially when you know the people really love each other, mm-hmm. and like it's really gonna work. But yo, this is so nice. Like the and families get along. Everybody is in a good mood. Yeah. It's like you suspend the world. The world stops for one day when you're at a good wedding with good people. Everyone's like, all right, you know what? Doesn't matter what bullshit is going on in our life or in the world today. We're having fun. You ever you ever been to a wedding when, when you're like, oh, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been to one of those yet. Okay, because it's mostly close friends that I've been to for weddings. Like I haven't been to weddings where I'm just like in the crowd. Okay. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Definitely. Really? Definitely. Yeah. It was like a. It was. It was just. Yeah. Why? What made you think it wasn't going to work? I'm not good at like figuring out when a relationship is going to work and when it's not. Because it was like a last ditch effort, like a marriage. You know, like they're breaking up and they're like, we should just go ahead and just get married. And they're not together anymore. To try to like solve their problems. Yeah. They were like, let's get married. Yeah, to try to solve their problems. Whenever somebody, whenever a couple breaks up, I'm always shocked. I'm always like, what? You never like, like thank God. No, because I don't really give a shit in the first place. You you you're about to deal with this like uh you have a friend and then they get a girlfriend and they completely disappear. Oh yeah, all the time. I hate that. Yeah, it sucks. That is so annoying. They, they become like different guys. Yeah, and then and then they break up and they want to they will just come back and act like nothing happened. Yeah. Like, no, I'm like no, apologize for the way you were acting. <laughs> yeah. I always let them back, but I'm like, bro, that was corny because. Do, I would, would you tell your friends if you don't like their girlfriend? Yes, you would for sure. No, I mean, depends but on you got to do it. You got to do it early on. Yeah, you can't wait that long and then be like, "Oh, yo, by the way, the girl you've been dating for two years, I hate her." Yeah, I hate her. She cheated on you. <laughs> That's crazy. You you've had a situation where you've had to tell my friend that his girl cheated on him. No, I I, I don't tell him. Yeah, because you're the guy that she's cheating on with. No, 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 no. You wouldn't tell him. I I mean, you got to tell him. Yeah. I, I probably would tell him that that would be a that'd be a bad situation. You ever got cheated on? No, no. Okay. No, I mean not to my knowledge. Maybe not I to have. Your knowledge. Yeah. I'd handle that well though. I just put that in no, my back no, pocket. No, 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 I would no, just no, put no, it in my no, back no, pocket. No, no, if no, I ever no. got caught, if I ever caught a girl cheating on me, I would stay with her and I would put that in my back pocket. And you, 
What? Yeah. You are lying. You say so much stuff just so girls like you, I think. You are lying. Why? No, no, no. I'm not you, saying that, that so girls I like me. I promise you that you haven't. No. You are so wrong right now. You think, like, even if you're joking. Did I touch a nerve? Unbelievable. Yes, you're so wrong because this doesn't that doesn't happen. I mean, it does happen. Listen, but. if it was with one of my friends, I'd be upset and I'd break up with her. But if it was like a random what? one night thing, I think nah. after like a week of being upset, I just put it in my back pocket and then I do whatever I want in that relationship. Like you'd like start like going out and stuff like that like she'd be like hey you, what do you want to do tonight do you want to hang out and i'd be like no i'm playing video games that's crazy and she'd be like no Every- what you said you'd hang out with me i'll be like hey remember that time you cheated on me shut up Let oh you just Madden. use it as leverage yeah no every time she wants to go out you'd be so weird about it it's not like you maybe think, i just never go out you think so i would still like i'm not saying i'd be happy in the relationship but i would make her break up with me Oh man, I do that too sometimes. <laughs> That's the best. Yo, that I love making not, a breakup with you. That's not the best. Oh my god, <laughs> it's fun. That I is love... not the best. What do you? I mean, what do you prefer, getting broken up with or breaking up with someone? It's so much better to get broken up with. I've stopped talking to a lot of girls, and I don't think I ever broke up with one. Wow, that's yeah. that's bad, dude. I know. That's that's a guy who's running scared. Running scared? I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do what's best for them. I guess about that, straight. Yeah. I'm new to dating, though. So dating for me is like, you know. Not so really. How, how long have you been single? Two years? Two years, yeah. That's not, you can't say you're new anymore. I can't. I can't even, like, I'm, I'm about to be 32 years old. You know my birthday's on Tuesday? I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> what do Tuesday. we do? Um, yeah, I'm going to be here. Let's You'll do You'll be something. here on Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. That sounds let's good. Let's get nuts. On a Tuesday? Yeah, let's throw it up on a Tuesday. Okay. Come on now. I'm down. I'm let's down. go to a black club. You've been dying to go to a black club. We're not, we're not going on a Tuesday, though. Oh, I have a new way. I forgot to say this for ways to decide the president. You know when like they're doing a car competition and everybody puts their hand on the car and then the last person to take their hands off gets the car? No, I've never heard of that. That what? sounds insane. No, that's not. They do that with like a brand new red car, and they have like 20 people put their hand on the car, and they're like last one with their hand touching the car gets the car. Oh, like the last like the last person that gets like tired and like needs to leave? Yeah. Okay. Let's All do right. that for the president. Let's do that for the president. <laughs> Everybody like touches the Statue of Liberty. Last person remaining still touching the Statue of Liberty gets to be president. Definitely an Asian person. Why? No, no, I just feel like they're better at everything <laughs> than us, other than like speed. Yeah, and, and cars. But everything else, I just feel like they're way better. <sighs> yeah. Um, do you, uh, we're talking about dating. Let's get back to the dating. That might be our bread and butter. Probably. Do you like, do you always pay on the first date? Um. Yeah, for sure. Have to. Yeah, it's one of those where I'd rather just not deal with whatever the consequences are. Like, you got to control what you can control out there, and that's something I can control. I can just pay for the date. Yeah, you know? yeah. And like, what? What's an extra fifty dollars? Who cares? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely pay, but I have ways around it though. I have little tricks. Okay, tell me. So what I do is I tell them that I fast, so I don't eat at night. So oh, we yeah? can't go to dinner, so I don't pay for dinner. I do fast, but it's a, definitely a lie. I eat I've done that, but it's always been true. Like I've, I have been fasting. Yeah, yeah, I do that too, so I don't have to pay for that. And then I also say, like, if we're going to an expensive place, I'm like, I'm sober. Mm. So I don't. So maybe I'll get them a drink. Well, then, anytime if you say you're sober, they're not going to get a drink. Yeah. Yep. That's how it that's works. That's a good one. That's smart. Yeah. But then, what do you? get like fr- that the fries are like more expensive we just don't go to drinking places we go we go for like a walk or something and i'm like you know what let's get like a white claw or something <laughs> you know what i'm not sober anymore yeah yeah exactly that's exactly <laughs> what let's i go do buy a six pack save bro i've been saving a lot of money doing that but yeah i usually i usually pay for the dates good but i do get offended if they don't even if it's not even a thought for them to pay i don't care as long as they say thank you so, uh, Bad Boys 4. Never saw the first three, gotta be honest with you. What? I know. Don't be what? one of those, don't be one of those guys. No, dog, movies. what is going on? You guys on? are so annoying. You never it's saw, you saw Rush Hour? No. Yo. What? What are you doing? Yo, I'm you I'm watching cannot. sports. 
I'm no, reading. dog, you have to watch. Do you, you don't watch any black cinema then? You don't watch any of it. <laughs> black cinema? Yeah. So you saw Medea? <laughs> That's you, cinema. Yeah. You know. I've seen. Uh, I've seen her in Tyler Perry's House of Pain. I love that show. You ever watch that show? Yeah, I watched that show. Yeah, wait, time out. You never saw show. Rush Hour. You never, never saw. saw I like that you referred to Rush Hour as cinema. Yeah, it's it's amazing. You never saw Bad Boys. Nope. Yo, have you ever seen um? Have you ever watched an episode of Martin? Nope. Yo, this is nuts. This is crazy. Is that Martin Lawrence? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, never. But I mean, you can go down the line of like white movies. I haven't seen them. I don't. I'm not like a big movie guy, yeah. and I really hate it when movie guys like try to give me homework. Oh, yo, you gotta watch this movie to go home tonight and watch this movie, and then tell me tomorrow. And then the next day comes and they're like, "What? You, you watch the movie? What did you think?" And I'm like, "No, I didn't watch your stupid movie. You, you're not allowed to give me homework." My You're not allowed God. to just tell me I have to watch a movie and then I gotta oh drop everything. Sorry, Clyde says I gotta watch Bad Boys. Can't yo, hang out you gotta watch Bad Boys. Can't come to dinner. Can't play pickleball. Clyde gave me homework. I have to watch four movies. Yo, I'm thinking about us if we were if we were the Bad Boy cops. Yo, that shit would be fire. All I know about them is the poster, the back to back. The poster, yeah. yeah yo, what I about know. Men in Black? You saw Men in Black, right? Nope. I will kill you right now. Nope. I will murder you right Ain't now. Never seen this Men in Black. This is insane. Stupid. Oh my god. Men Movies in Black. are stupid. No, they're not. Movies, movies are, are dumb. Tremendous. Tremendous no. writing. Tremendous storylines. If you watch movies, you're an idiot. That is so dumb. So what do you what do you you watch sports that like I watch you're, sports? You're rooting for a team like a cult thing that no one really cares about that you oh, can't control at all. What do you mean no one cares about? You There's can't. Eighty thousand people. You can't in the stands control. Every football game. You can't control. No one cares. It's the dumbest thing you ever said. No, no. You said movies are dumb. That's yeah. crazy. Movies tell, are dumb. Tell, storytelling, telling, telling a story of someone. I love storytelling, but movies are not my preferred way to, to digest them. How? That, fuck it's you. It's so boring. I'm just going to sit there for two hours yes. and watch like the most predictable script You watch script movies. You watch time. Oppenheimer. I like some movies. I'm just not like a movie guy. I'm not going to go out there and watch a movie because yeah, Because you have ADHD have and retardism. <laughs> so what? Call it whatever you want. This is who I am, and I'm not changing. And I really hate that movie guys insist on trying to change you. Okay. The, you, I'm the, you can't make me watch your movie. Did you see my story today? About no. about the your like, stories are getting getting a little out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're acting a little crazy. Nah. <laughs> but you I, are, bro. <laughs> I, t- I took some I took some mental disorder. Also, your stories like when do you sleep? I don't, bro. You got stories on at like five a.m. and then yeah. you got another one on at like eight a.m. Yeah, I, I don't sleep. It's an issue. But I I sleep all day Sunday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I sleep until like two on Sundays. I catch up. Um, but. So yeah, I took some mental mental health disorder test. So it says I'm highly likely for ADHD. I show signs of anxiety. I I'm not schizophrenic. It says that I'm definitely bipolar. It says that I'm not not depressed. So those are those are good things. Well, that's pretty good. You avoided the big whammy. Yeah, schizophrenia. Well, I was gonna say depression, but depression no schizophrenia is way yeah, worse. Yeah, I guess that's worse. But also like that's p- pretty hard. If they can diagnose you with schizophrenia off an online test, they probably can. Like the questions were like, one of the questions was, "Do you think your thoughts are controlled by someone else?" And I was just like, "No." Nah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but some of them were just like, "Who answers th- yes to that? Who like what schizophrenic person is going to take that test?" Yo, I, I mean, some people need to take it. I think that's bogus. That's like a which friends character are you type of test. I would, although I would love to take it. How do I take this test? It, they're 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 online. You just Google it, and then you know you'll find a site that has. Do you have any other open. examples of questions they asked you? Um. So they were like, "Do you f- like the?" In- Can you pull one up and ask me the questions? Yeah. W- what do you want to do? Do you want to do what? What do, you, what do you think that you could possibly have? ADHD, bipolar, depression, anxiety, schizophrenia. Uh, I could easily have depression and anxiety. All right, we'll do the anxiety test. But I, I thought there was like a general one that you took. Yeah, I'm about to pull it up. Okay. Yeah, ask me those. This is gonna be fun. All right. Clinicalpartners dot com. All right. So first question. I We're find taking. It, I'll introduce it. Okay. So so the so the answers are never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Never. 
Rarely. Sometimes. Sometimes. Often and very often. Yes. Okay. Okay. Question one. And so I'm going to say I, just because I'm going to read it how it is, but it, it's going to pertain to you, okay? Gotcha. I find it very hard to unwind, relax, or sit still. Often. I have had stomach problems such as feeling sick or stomach cramps. Never. I have been irritable and easily become annoyed. Sometimes. I have experienced shortness of breath. Rarely. I have felt dizzy and unsteady at times. Never. I have had difficulty with sleeping, including waking up, finding it hard to go to sleep. Very often. I have felt panic and overwhelmed by things in my life. Sometimes. I have felt nervous and on edge. Uh, Often. I have had trembling hands. Never. I seem to be constantly worrying about things. Uh... Rarely. I put often. For you. For me? All right. You are experiencing many symptoms of anxiety (laughs) disorder. (laughs) (laughs) You're a weirdo. That was just anxiety? No, no, no. Okay, let's let's do autism for you. (laughs) Oh, boy. This is the one. Now I'm excited. This is the one. Here we go. This is a moment of truth. My whole life might change right now. Okay, let's okay. do it. Uh, same thing, never, rarely, sometimes. Yep. Oh, okay. Clinical partners, this is what it is. Okay. Right. Question one, I prefer to do things on my own rather than with others. Uh, Very often. Okay, this is, actually this is different. Definitely agree, slightly agree, slightly disagree, and, disagree, and definitely disagree. Definitely. Agree. Definitely disagree, slightly disagree, slightly agree, definitely agree. Okay. I prefer to do things on my own rather than with others. Definitely agree. I prefer to do things the same way, for instance, my morning routine or trip to the supermarket. Um slightly agree. I find myself becoming strongly absorbed in something even obsessional. Obsessional. Slightly agree. I'm very sensitive to noise and will wear earplugs or cover my ears in certain situations. Definitely disagree. Sometimes people say I am being rude, even though I think I'm being polite. Slightly disagree. I find it easy to imagine what characters from a book might look like. Slightly agree. I agree with that too. For you. I find it easy to talk in groups of people. In groups, uh, definitely agree. I am more interested in finding out about things than people. Definitely disagree. I find numbers, dates, and strings of information fascinating. Slightly agree. I prefer non-fiction fiction books and films to fiction. Slightly agree. I find it upsetting if my daily routine is upset or changed. Definitely disagree. It's difficult for me to understand other people's facial expressions and body language. Slightly disagree. I don't... There's no way I have autism. I'm nailing this test. I don't have any problems making small talk with new people. Uh, Definitely disagree definitely disagree okay you do have problems like you can you can do it but it's always weird that's why i said definitely disagree all right i notice very small changes in a person's appearance uh definitely disagree i didn't know you got a haircut today (laughs) when i was young i used to play lots of let's pretend or imaginary games slightly disagree (laughs) I like collecting information about things I am interested in. Definitely agree. I like meeting new people. Slightly disagree. P- 
people close to me say I talk about th- the same things repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly agree. Okay. I find it easy to work out what people are thinking or feeling just by looking at their facial expressions. Slightly disagree. New social situations make me feel anxious. Slightly agree. It's important to me to carefully plan any activities I'm going to do. Uh, Definitely disagree. I find it hard to work out what people's intentions are. Slightly agree. I would find it really hard to play imaginary games with children. Definitely disagree. I am a good diplomat and can help ease difficult social or work situations. Slightly agree. I am often the last person to understand a joke. Definitely disagree. I like doing spontaneous things. Slightly agree. If I am interrupted doing something, I find it hard to get back to what I was doing beforehand. Slightly agree. I notice patterns in things all the time. Slightly agree. I have some very strong interests and get upset if I can't pursue them. Uh, Slightly disagree. Last question. I can tell if someone I am talking to is getting bored. (laughs) Slightly agree. There's no way. No chance I have autism. It's loading. Yep, you're gay. (laughs) <laughs> no, come on. That's what it says. It says you are experiencing many typical signs of autism. No way. No chance. That's Did you what really it say that? Said. Yeah, dog. It said I have none. Many typical signs many. of autism. Yeah, you're done. Get out of here. You're done. Based on what? And you were lying in some of those questions. I was not. I I swear no, to God, I, mean, I tried to be truthful. No, I mean some of the questions were. Which ones did worse. I lie about? Um. I was as honest as you could be. The large Remember, group, I pledged not to be fake news. The, on this the large group of people, I don't feel like you're a large group of people type of person. Well, I mean, you, you got to be specific. Like, I would much rather, like, in a group of three, I dominate. In a group of three, okay. four, I dominate. Yeah. Yes, you're right if it gets to, like, 15. Big numbers, yeah, I just hide. Yeah. yeah. Or if it's one on one, I'm not that great. But at, like, three, four, I'm nice. Okay. So you're, Get me in, like, a living room, I'll dominate that living room. You're autistic. I no, think, I think you should. Go <laughs> I disagree out. with those results. I think you should. Go they also didn't out. expand on anything. They weren't like this is why. I feel like most people listening. I'm not autistic. Yes, you guys is. know that. Yes, that test is. is baloney. Wait, can we talk about um, your rap career and uh, specifically, your you had one you had a rap beef. You had a famous rap beef. Yeah, I guess not famous because it's been scrubbed from the internet. Yeah. Not by you. No. Nick Cannon. Ooh, baby. Named names. Nick Cannon, okay? Not a friend of the pod. So what happens is one of my friends messaged me and was like, yo, no, no. One of my friends messaged me and was like, yo, check out Nick Cannon's post. So Nick Cannon posts online, post the funniest comedian in your city, and I'll give him a shot at wilding out. Everyone in my city starts tagging me, right? Crazy already. So he messages me. Why would right. they tag you? I'm like, yo, Nick Cannon just messaged me, posted on my story, mad hype, because if you know me, you know I would be good on a show like Wild and Out. So I'm super excited, right? And then he's like, yo, what's up? Let's like let's figure something out. This is Messaged like him back hype. This is Nick Cannon, like blue check. His, it's the real yes, Nick, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, blue check, his personal page messages me. And then he says, Okay, so this is what we can do. Five hundred dollars and I'll post you on my story. One thousand dollars. I'll post you on my story and my page. So, first off, I'm like, for, I'm not giving you any money because you know I was kind of like, I was kind of like filling out a little bit. But then he started posting people, and they were like people doing like gas station pranks, like not comedians at all. Mm-hmm. People that aren't funny. They're going in there just knocking stuff off, and he's posting them. So I'm like, okay, this is for money. So what I did, I went home and I wrote a diss track about Nick Cannon. Hell yeah. It was hilarious, okay? I posted it like 7 o'clock in the morning. By 9.30, it was viral. Hundreds of views. No Jumper posted it. No, 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 no. Not hundreds of views. Thousands of views. How many views? Hundreds of thousands hundreds of views. Hundreds of thousands yeah, of views. Like yeah, yes. it had like 300,000 views in like four hours. No Jumper reposted it. And then, you know, I'm getting all these views. I'm getting all these followers. And then my page is gone. 
your Instagram page. He deleted my page. What a coward. He got my page deleted. Yo, if I see Nick Cannon, it's on site. Why does he why does he need money that bad? Yeah, I the the whole thing and I, I still until this day That's I, embarrassing. Hey Nick Cannon, you should be ashamed of yourself. I just got the amount of followers I had. This was 2019. I just got the those amount of followers. How many followers back. did you have? Like 2,600. Wow. What a bum. Yeah, fuck Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, you're a bum. I feel like he owes me a fight. I, feel I like hope he sees this. I hope he sees this. I hope he does. Come on the pod, coward. Let's hear your side of the story. Nah, I'll smack, I'll smack all that. Man, fuck Nick Cannon. I mean, I agree, but if we can get him on the pod, that'd be... That'd be good. What? <laughs> you know? <laughs> nah, nah, bro. I got, I got, I, I really, I really feel like I got to stand on that because but you're saying if he would, if he came on the pod, you would say no. Yeah. No, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, come on, just have him sit there, and then we could just tear him to pieces. That's crazy. Yeah. It, the craziest part is that he was like, he was like a like a Saudi prince, and he was like, give me a hundred dollars. Yeah. And I'll post you. It's like you're Nick Cannon, dude. Just go do a commercial, and you can get. So much money. I said you had me on the gram getting shouts from my man's. I ain't know you was running scams. I don't need no repost to show you who I am. I teach you how to make a few grams. Uh. I teach you how to flip a few grams and I do a fucking dance when the money hit my hands. If you really fucking knew me, you would really understand. I'm a grown ass man. I ain't about to get scammed. Body. He, try, he tried to he tried he told me send him bread. Buried, Nick Cannon. You're buried. He said Come on here. He said he he tried to text my phone and told him send it. Send, he tried, He hit me on my line and told me send him bread. I put that same money on your head. Yeah. yeah either way, tight. I went crazy on him. That's tight. You should repost it. You still have that video? Yeah, I still got it. But he's just gonna. I'm scared he's gonna get my shit deleted again, and I would be so sick. If we made this a clip and then we posted it, you think he would take us down? Maybe. I guess we can post it from the podcast. Po- so podcast no one will page. see it. <laughs> yeah, that's called being two steps ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so he just takes down the. So he just takes down. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can do that. I was talking about a. Uh, I was talking about his wife in it. Mariah yeah, Carey. Yeah, Mariah Carey. Yeah. Oh, you went after Mariah Carey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For wow. sure. He's I like just, you and Eminem. I just told her to hit me up. Oh, basically. nice. That's a classic rap. Yeah, I would. Mm, yeah, Mariah hit on their girl. Carey. Yes, sir. Nice. She, they're divorced now. Yeah, yeah, they, they got twins and shit. Oh, that'd though. be crazy if this we clip that goes viral and then you end up dating Mariah Carey. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. The ultimate revenge. I hate Nick Cannon. Yeah. Now I I had no feelings about him before, but now yeah, I can't stand him. Yeah, he come sucks. after my park at podcast partner like that. Yeah, fuck Nick Cannon. Stupid. Over some dumb shit. Yeah. Bad news, but I mean that boy's wilding out. He's gonna. He- <laughs> That sucks. He's gonna hear about this. He's gonna hear about this. I hope he does. I really hope he does. You're a scrub, Nick Cannon. So um, it's on site. Let me tell you right now, it's on site. If I see you, you better hide. You would not do anything. Are you kidding me? I'd turn his. I disfigure his face. Okay, <laughs> I believe you. I fuck with Come you, on. Bubba. You're my guy. What Shout a clown! Bubba. What a clown! I need to get into a beef. A beef? I need some type of like traction i need some type of uh, like like some drama oh so you're talking about like a public beef i need a public beef i need somebody to say something somebody say something about me out there you won't i I can think of a few comics come at me i got people that hate you (laughs) for real they messaged me one of my friends messaged me and was like you guys both think you're the main characters i'm like what we are Idiot, whoever that, whoever friend that was, watch the pod. It's like, like there's, it's like there's two of us. What do you, what do you, what do you want? Yeah, it's called the Adventures of Billy and Clyde. Couldn't have made it more clear who the main characters are. Yeah, fuck, fuck. The Is people. that guy a comic? No. no who, no, who else no, hates no. me? Um, so there, there is a comic that he's like, he's like, he'll say something good about the podcast, mm-hmm. and then he'll like say something that's a little shady, and I'm like, you're hating. Like that's when I. Can but it's tell. always about me, the shady part. No, sometimes like the one time he was like, he was like, oh, so he was like, oh, so you're Billy's sidekick. And I was like, we're each other's sidekicks. Yeah, I was like, it's a one two punch. And like, and like, I've, I've, like, people are like, people say, like, oh, like, you're, you're Billy's sidekick. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, do you know me? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm, I'm not like the person that's just like, you know, this is why we're podcast partners. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, I, I'm not a person that just starting or, I add to the conversations. Hell so I'm yeah. like I'm like 
what the fuck are you guys talking about? And then, but I made a joke though. He was like, he was like, oh, it seems like you're Billy's sidekick. And I was like, no, Billy just edits the clips. <laughs> so That's he true. Just uses his best. Oh yeah, so I always look good in the clips. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate when people take pictures of me and they post their best pictures. And got me all fucked oh, up. They, yeah, you look like a rag doll. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. it sucks. Girls get real <laughs> twisted about that. Yeah, you post a bad yeah. picture of them. I didn't realize. Yo, um, so but every to girl to girls, every picture of them is a bad picture. It's like maybe you're just ugly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think that too. I hate if if eight out of every ten pictures taken of you are bad photos. It's not the problem's not the camera, girls. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, definitely. You ever you ever take a picture a front facing picture with your regular iPhone camera? It's like a selfie? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, they flip your face, bro. I look insane. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. If you take a picture on your iPhone camera and then take a picture on your Instagram, Instagram doesn't flip your face. Okay, let's see. This is... I mean, your hoodie is flipped or not. So oh, it is flipped. Yeah. yeah. I never realized that. Yeah. Yeah, it flips my face. I hate it. But how does that make you look any worse? It's just... It's the same thing, just a different side. I mean... If we, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell people what my flaws are, but it's not they the know. same thing. For me. <laughs> they know. Have you ever done yoga? Uh, never like in a class, but I've tried it like on my own. On your own, like meditation, all that stuff. Yeah, I li- I like yoga. It makes me feel makes me feel really good. But like, I've been hearing about a lot about hot yoga, mm-hmm. and I'm like, first of all, all yoga is hot. You don't got to do Dude. like extra shit there's like puppy yoga there's like there's like goat yoga and i'm like you guys are just doing way too much what's what's goat yoga goat yoga they like put they put like baby goats on your back while you're doing yoga and people love it i'm like you know that this isn't working yeah you know like you're just being completely you know that's just boredom i feel like so much of like what we do these days is just we're just bored as hell and we're just like the survival age of human beings is over. Like we we survive easily now. So now we're just like trying to kill the time, and yeah, we're doing yeah. stuff like doing yoga with goats on our backs. Yeah, goat goat yoga, hot yoga, pretty much anything that has to do with like bringing something in. It's all fucking just. Are you saying up. all yoga is hot yoga? Why? Just because you get real because sweaty? it's sweaty. Yo, yoga is hard. Yeah, I know it hurts. Like, oh, yeah, I be getting sore. Like, I'm a grown especially ass man. for big guys like me. Like I don't stretch like that. My body is not meant to contort. You think you're big? Just like, just give it to me. I am big. <laughs> I'm almost 200 pounds. What? I haven't been 200 pounds since I was in eighth grade. I know. Well, it's embarrassing that neither of us are 200 pounds. <laughs> Real men are 200 pounds and up. That's a fact. You're not 200 pounds? Nah, I'm like 195. Although I might, mm. after these next couple of weeks, because I can't work out because I'm crippled. Yeah. I might get up again. Also, I've been eating like crap. I keep eating ice cream and... Last night I had chicken fingers and fries. This afternoon I had chicken wings. Oh my gosh! I would have gained thirteen pounds if I would have eaten that. I know. I have a. I have a. I'm thankful for my metabolism. It, it served me good. It's gonna catch up to you. That's what they keep telling me, but it hasn't yet. Although this injury is the first time in my life where I've been like, "Wow, I'm not a young man anymore." Yeah. Like I'm like, because there's no. I don't know how it happened. Like I know how I made it worse. Yeah. But the original injury, I have no clue. I was yeah. sorry. I just woke up and I like it hurt so bad. Yeah, you just get random pains when you're older, and and they last forever. Out of nowhere. Yeah. It's like how did this happen to me? Yeah, Another thing just... I want to sound off about is people. This is a thing in New York, especially, but I'm sure it's everywhere. With the angry T-shirts and clothing in general, people that are mean with their clothes. I've had enough of it. What is your problem? Like what? Like those shirts that they sell, like the New York shirts, and they're like "F you, you f and f." Yeah. I saw a girl with a bag, and on the bag there was embroidered "assholes live forever." I was like, w- w- "What's your problem?" Yeah. I First hate- of all, no, they don't. Assholes die like everybody else. Second of all, like you just like fighting words to everybody on the train for no reason. I hate when there's. Why are you slogans. so mad? It's also funny to me to think about like, like those shirts that are like, uh, there's like some sassy shirts, you know, that girls wear, and it's like. Like, it, it just says something like doesn't even it, it's like out of nowhere. It just like says, get the fuck away from me or something like that. That'll be their T-shirt. Right. And it's like to think about like the kid in the sweatshop in Bangladesh who's got to make a shirt for this sassy hot girl. They're always hot. 
you know the kid's eight years old he hasn't eaten in three weeks he shows up to work and they're like what do you got for me today oh well there's some hot 25 year old new york who's pissed off for absolutely no reason we need you to make her shirt that just says fuck you on it i hate all shirts that have slogans like hustle people are doing too much with their shirts they're like they're like hustle motivation (laughs) stay at it my dude you're 300 pounds (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like what are you doing? Yeah. Wear a fucking yeah. regular shirt. Yeah. No days off. That's a no popular days shirt. off. I'm like, bro, you have to stop wearing that or shirt. Or what's the one where they're like, no excuses, work harder? And it's yeah, always like it's, a guy who's sitting on a bench. It's like, bro, you gotta stop with those t shirts. Yeah. Fuck. I wear regular shit. You'll never catch me with someone with like a face with a face on it or a slogan. I don't wear messages do on my clothes. If you wear messages on your clothes, you are a loser. Yeah. I don't like that either. Tell me how you feel. Don't wear it. Yeah. That's 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 a cheat code, and you're lame for it. Stop telling me to watch movies. Stop wearing aggressive things on your clothes. Um, Let's rename the animals. All right. I actually... Nick I, Cannon. Nick Cannon, you better not be in my block. You better not show up on my block, son. Fuck Nick Cannon. Amen. I mean, my white boys. My white boy look like little Dicky smacked the shit out you. <laughs> 